Peloton, certainly another business that defined uh, the markets in 2020. It also defined our lives in 2020. Sazi, I know that you had a, a great feature today on Yahoo Finance looking at um, the role that Peloton played, you know, not only in, in the lives of the market, um, not only how the instructors were affected, but a couple of our colleagues here at Yahoo Finance, how Peloton's uh, changed their routines during the pandemic. Yeah, thanks, Miles. I uh, really appreciate that. Yeah, this was a collaboration between myself and uh, Yahoo Finance Deputy Managing Editor Aaron Fuchs. Uh, and that page is right now on our home, uh, story is on our homepage right now. It's long, it's in depth, but I do have a couple takeaways from uh, from this story here. You know, in talking to a lot of the executives at Peloton, and again, also talking to a lot of our, our teammates here at Yahoo Finance who have really used Peloton aggressively uh, throughout the pandemic to stay healthy and uh, surely sane. First up. No new hardware. You know, in talking to all these Peloton uh, executives, I think this notion on the street that Peloton is going to come out with a, a rowing machine, flying weights, boxing machines, it's just not going to happen. I think they are, are very focused on leveraging what they have, the treadmill uh, and, and the spin bike, and, and using uh, those items to really essentially go to number two here on my list, improve the content, continue to improve the content, expand the number of users doing it that way. Uh, and we did learn in talking to the executives one way they're going to do that Peloton will now be expanding into prenatal fitness care. They will be uh, leveraging uh, the, the experience of their head instructor, Robin Arzon, uh, to help do that. She uh, said she was pregnant. She announced she was pregnant in September. So she's been uh, videotaping and plotting out her journey and working uh, on developing workouts for those uh, with uh, prenatal care. And then secondarily, too, this notion that, you know, once we get the vaccine, uh, people are going back to the gym. I don't think that's going to happen. I think that's a large part why you see the stock up 30 percent in the past month. You know, we talked to a lot of folks with Pelotons. You're going to have to rip these things out of their cold, dead hands. It's just not going to happen. Uh, they are, do not want to go back to the gym. They like the on-demand classes, and they're perhaps even willing to pay more. So I, I wouldn't be surprised at some point if you see Peloton maybe dabble with a little bit of price, price increase. They didn't tell us that was the case, but it does seem like they have pricing power and a lot of it. Well, you know, so they made a really interesting decision when they raised the price of the new bike and they cut the price of the existing bike. I think kind of a, a give and take there. Just quickly before we go, I wanted to ask about the talent because you brought up a couple of the instructors, Ali Love, Sam Yo. I mean, these people are celebrities in their own right. I mean, they're not, you know, they're not Jake Paul or Charlie D'Amelio or these kinds of people, but th they have major followings. Um, how cognizant is the management team of keeping these people happy? How important is it to a company at Peloton to make sure you know that their talent wants to stay with them and doesn't go to you know SoulCycle or, or some other kind of competitor that starts up. Well, Miles, Peloton they don't disclose how much they pay their instructors, but just talking to people in industry, these instructors get paid a, a good deal of money, and again, they put out a lot of content. But I think why why you're seeing the Peloton brand cross over into mainstream, a lot of these instructors. They've developed a real close, close personal bond with a lot of the users just coming through their screen. One thing we have heard from talking to a lot of Peloton users is that they, they don't body shame the people on the bike. They're very welcoming, they're inviting, they're friendly, they carry that brand onto their social media accounts, and that's why they're able to, to keep the, that user base and then ultimately grab new ones. You know, I think when Peloton came to market, a lot of people were skeptical, but all of the cliches around community building, building a platform, expanding the addressable market, all those things have come true for Peloton. You got to give the company a lot of credit for um, capitalizing on a very lucky, unfortunate scenario with the pandemic. They've certainly executed their way through it and grown the business as a result. All right.